morning I'm making coffee with my Rubino. I always thought it was a Rubico. Rubino. Oh, I had a late night. I got this new scale. Ah, this is the trick. I'm gonna froth my milk. And I guess the only reason I think I'm not using that breville is because I've got a feeling that my tastes have changed since I've had the Rebel Cognitions and I can tell you, I really enjoy the taste of beans better than I do a pot. I'm so sorry for all the Nespresso drinkers out there. Maybe I haven't found the right pod yet. Okay. Oh yeah. I'm going to get lessons and tips on how to make a good coffee in one of these and a more commercial range uh, based coffee machine so just so you know the difference is is that you can actually control the the amount of I guess how much coffee you want there is a magic number and that's why I want to do the lesson I want to figure out what it is that makes a really good cup of coffee there are so many elements it is the milk, it is the beans, it is the heat. What else is there? Technique. I I, I know that they, that's the basic one, so I can make that cafe barista style coffee at home. And there is no reason why a lot of us can't. I mean, we sort of have been, you know, 20 years ago, who drank barista coffee at home? Nobody did. Nobody even had a coffee machine at home. I mean, percolated. Sorry for the Americans, but in Australia, nobody I knew had a drip filter except for us. And the only reason why we had a drip filter is because in 1988, we went to Greece and my auntie from Denmark, who lived in Denmark most of her life, had a house in Greece and she had, she had a drip filter coffee. That was the first time that my sister and I ever had drip filter coffee. We were so in love. We had an old Breville, I'm sure it was a Breville, drip filter coffee maker. And you wanna hear the funniest? My mother still has it and it still works from 1988. We will discuss all the names of the coffees and then talk about that in another video. But right now, my Rubino is still my morning go-to coffee. Make the time because coffee is the ritual. So I made the time to make this coffee and really enjoy it. And I'm enjoying it here with a beautiful view. It's a beautiful day. I've got ironing to do later on today, but that's okay. We'll get to that. Have a great day. Enjoy your morning cup of coffee wherever you are in the world. When things feel like they're spinning out of control, you're becoming emotional about something because it's really affecting every aspect of your life. But in today's day, modern day, post COVID, um, with everything that's happened to us personally, to others that we know, to the rest of the world, there is so much uncertainty. And you know what? That sort of brings out that, wow, Nobody really does know what tomorrow is going to bring. So we have this fear of the unknown and that fear is starting to um, blend into our everyday life and it is causing us a lot of stress. And the emotional stress, remember, the moment we get triggered with emotional stress, your whole body starts reacting. If you actually think about your breathing, a lot of people actually breathe shallow and fast continuously all day which means that they're not in a relaxed state of being at all which your body your body can only cope and this is why i say this find five minutes 10 minutes 20 minutes half an hour an hour whatever you can do and just 
breathe. Focus on the breathing. Start to relax. I don't care how long it takes you to get into that relaxation mode. You've got to let your body know that you're in control and you're calming it down. You need to calm down that fight or flight mode. People have don't know the tools to actually calm you calm your body down. So let's start by breathing in. And breathe out. breathe in through my right nostril. I got hit by a car when I was a kid. And I do have a crooked nose, but I'm not fixing it. This nostril breathes in, this nostril struggles. So that's how I know that it's, it's not as easy to breathe in through both nostrils. Breathe in through your nose for three to four counts. So one, two, three, four, hold it and then release through your mouth. Do a little O with your mouth. And... Like my sister says, the cat's up. Breathe. Calm your body down and your mind will follow. So focus on your breathing. Calm your body down. Let it know that you are not in fight or flight mode. You are not fighting for your life. There are some external stresses and that's okay. You'll get over it because everybody gets over it. Do you remember when COVID first hit? They said, how are we gonna get through it? Just like with any challenging time in our lives, we get through it. So when COVID was at its height, we had lockdowns. People were really scared. But everyone I spoke to, I said to them, you will get through this too. Everyone will get through it. It is, it is exactly the same with any situation, whether it's wars, whether it is a divorce, whether it is a death, whether it is a breakup, financial ruin, uh, bankruptcy. Anything you go through in life, get through it because people forget how resilient how strong they really are see you're never a failure no matter what happens in life you are never a failure the moment you pick yourself up and you keep going now, you're a failure when you sit down on that ground and you wallow in self-pity and you stay there for years and decades and you waste the life that you've been blessed with I've been saying this since my dad passed away because I was there with him in his last week, his last days and his last moments and I put my ear on his heart and felt his heartbeat fade away. And I say to people every single day, I don't give a shit whether it's COVID or a war or whatever it is. This morning, you got up. This morning, you had a chance to make a great day. Forget about the future, forget about your past. You are not your past. That has gone, that ship has sailed. You can't change the past. What you have is this moment. And in this moment, you woke up this morning when tens of thousands of other people didn't get a chance to wake up and make today a great day. Regardless of your situation, regardless of your financial woes, or issues or problems or your personal problems or your work problems or whatever problem that has come into your life remember this today is the clean slate you are not defined by the events of your past and your past actions you are defined by this present moment and what you are doing right now to make a difference that's who you are that is humanity you find someone who's fallen down you pick them up you find someone who needs a cup of coffee, you buy them a cup of coffee. Or the meal, or pay a bill for them. You hear that someone is struggling, what are you gonna do to help? Don't say, oh, I'm going to. I'm gonna do that. I'm going to. I should. Those shoulds, coulds, woulds, I'm going to. Wipe them. Just do it. Like Nike says, just do it. And when you wake up tomorrow, 
and I hope you do. You've got another day. Every day is a step forward. Don't worry about tomorrow. Whatever you need to get done, you get it today. Because you know what? I've seen that life is so much more precious than you can actually comprehend. And you only have this moment because tomorrow you might not get the chance to wake up. So what are you gonna do today? And that is how I tell people, the cold, hard, bitch slap you with the reality of you only have this moment. Stop making plans for 10 years down the track. Stop making plans for a year down the track. Make a plan for today. You woke up today. Be grateful. One, be grateful. I don't care who you're grateful to. Is it God? Is it Allah? Is it Buddha? Is it the universe? Is it a holier entity? Whatever it is, be grateful. You woke up today. Secondly, do it now. Just do it. Don't procrastinate. Just do it. Gratitude is amazing. When you're grateful, you will be surprised how many good things happen to you out of gratitude. And remember this, you're not alone. There was a quote from Rumi. You are not alone in the universe. The universe is in you. And with that, I'm going to leave you and remember that I love you. Have a brilliant day.